just love walking the beach after a massive storm. Smell that salty sea air. Feel the sun on your skin. And maybe discover what gifts the tide has brought you. Hey, it's my dad's right crock. This is the perfect example of why you should be careful every time you go beachcombing, and you should probably wear some kind of hand coverage. Look at this. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't even know this stuff still exists. Oh, it's still full. And sometimes, unexpectedly, we come across something strange. There used to be a big fence here that would keep everyone out, but as you can see, the storms have literally decimated the fence, as far down as you can see. Hmm. Brand new tool bag. Doesn't even look tweaked. Oh, those are awesome. Got a nice shine to them. And this is a type of mollusk, uh, California horn snail. Um, it's empty, there's nothing in there anymore, but I haven't seen these in quite a while. I used to see them all the time, but they seem to be getting rarer. Maybe it's just where I'm looking. So good to know. I looked a little closer and I found a few more. Also got these nice common sea snails. Uh, the inside of the black one has that cool mother of pearl look to it. White one's just white. And there are scallops literally everywhere out here. All assorted colors. Uh, some might be clams, but I think these ones with the little ridges, those are scallops. And this may just look like a trash pile from after your dinner, but these are all oyster shells. Just found another type of clam. This one's a little deeper than the rest. I'm actually not sure the type of this one. If you know, leave it in the comments. These clams here are found up and down the coast from Alaska to Mexico. Um, they live up to 20 years and they're called butter clams. Aptly named because they taste delicious. Not only seashells, but occasionally you find cool rocks out here. There's pieces of quartz and quartzite that all seem to be coming off whatever rocks they use to stack along this peninsula. I'm not even sure what this is, but look at all the glitter she's got. And occasionally you find the remains of an animal out here. Uh, I think this is from either a shark or a fish. It's pretty light, so definitely not a mammal. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna get stuck in quicksand here. I gotta back up. I think I'm gonna go this way. Whoa, an aerobie from the 90s. Let's see if she still flies. Frisbee disc, here we go. Yeah. Wow, look at all this pyrite. As far as you can see, gold flakes. Fool's gold. Uh, should I try my luck? <laughs> oh God. Wow, that is heavy. Oh. Well, it seems like a lot of nothing. Just full of sand, unfortunately. That was worth a try. Never know, could find some drug money, right? Second backpack. Oh. Okay, try this one too. This could be the best unboxing ever if I can actually find something in it. One of these days, you guys keep watching, one of these days I'll find something, I promise. All right, I'm gonna stop wasting time. Open. One of these days. Rich stuff. So this area is dangerous. I gotta stay on the rocks. Uh, there is only one reason you see only bird tracks down there. Because anything else sinks right in. Nice hunk of quartz out here. Really pretty quality. Found another vertebra out here. Uh, this one's a little more dense than the last one, not quite as light. You can see the bone is very porous. Not really sure what this is. Ah, 
looks like some goggles. A decent pair of Speedo goggles. Oh, too bad the lenses are trash. Rubber looks brand new. Surprisingly, it's not rot rotted out. Oh, look at this. There's something else here. Yeah, too bad it's buried. It's probably gonna be rotted out too. Huh. Man, goggle bonanza today. I'll wash it off, and that's, this one's actually in a little better shape than the last one. Not so scratched. Maybe it could be buffed out. <laughs> Anybody want to buy some used goggles? Now I got like three pair. Now this is interesting. I just thought it was a bottle of junk, but it looks like it's full of pyrite. Have you been experiencing cable outages or signal loss? I wonder what those seagulls are eating on shore. We'll find out in a minute. So this is what these gulls were after. This is a California stingray, a round ray. The ones that get you in the legs when you're in the shallow water. Shuffle your feet. All right, so I've been seeing these creatures everywhere. They're clear. I thought it was plastic at first, but I realize now these are the remnants of a hydroid called a velula velula. Um, I think they're called ocean sailors. Uh, this top wing, they float on the sea and the wind actually carries them in big groups. And this one here still has the bottom, the foot to it. It usually has tentacles on it, but I think these have died and they're dried out a bit. And this is what you get once they actually fully dry. So if you see these, velula velula, sea sailors. And if you can't say it, don't worry, neither can I. It's called the velula <laughs> Here I am with a nice big piece of Elkhorn kelp. All right, so I'm gonna gift my findings today here at the old sea fort. We got a frisbee, some goggles, other goggles, a mask. Maybe somebody could use these. Along with the Vela Lavella, I've been seeing a lot of these gray plungers. Look like they're made out of sand on the beach. If you look closely, turn them over, they're actually covered in eggs. Now this is the egg case of the moon snail. It makes this gelatinous encasing around it, and the body of the body of it is made of sand. The bottom is jelly, and it adheres all its eggs to them. Sometimes 50,000 eggs. Uh, obviously, there's not that many here, but these are all over the beach. So hopefully, they wash back in the water, or they can hatch on land, because these are going to be moon snails. Just to give you an idea of how many of these I'm seeing, here's another one. They're always right side up, but look, eggs. So we'll, we'll walk a little ways, and there's two more. Let's see if there's eggs. Wow, that's a lot. Man, impressive. I hope they hatch. That's a pretty rosy clam. Just thought it had a really cool color. Man, these Vela Vela carcasses are everywhere. It almost leaves like a beautiful skin behind. Let's give him a proper send off. Uh, I've reached the end of the line. I can't go any farther. This was a good trip. Thanks for joining me on it. I hope you guys come back again and make some trips of your own. Have a great day.